Welcome back to Blanks No One Asked For, and in today's episode, a few Americans are going to try an assortment of UK slash British products, and not only that, we will be rating these British products on our very British scale of bloody disgusting, not my cup of tea, UK, okay, lovely, and oh my days. All of the products that we'll be trying in today's episode were made possible by our sponsor and local dealer, Britfix of Goldsboro, North Carolina. Thanks, Britfix. Oh, yes. Without further ado, let's do. All right. First one we have is Matchmakers Honeycomb. Hmm. Quality Street. Quality Street. Now, quality Right there by Quality Inn. No. <laughs> Nestle. Okay. Quality See, Street. I, I Nestle. Thought... I thought Quality Street was the brand, but uh, I guess Nestle is Nestle. Nestle. Man, Nestle. that is tiny. Why would they, if that's the brand, why would you put it so itty bitty? So how, how does that break down quality? What What is Quality Street in the realm of Nestle? Hmm. Let us know. All right, so anyways, this is the Honeycomb Matchmaker. Oh, it looks like chocolate covered pretzels. Matchmaker, matchmaker. Here. Hmm. Yes, it does. Make me a match. Dude, they smell really good. I guess y'all are not fans Dude, of Dude, smell them things. Holy that holy smells holy. super oh, strong. What are we not fans of? Uh, Fiddler on the Roof, I think, is what oh, it no. was. I might be completely wrong in that musical. Well, all right, so Those looking days. at the coating, it mm. does have like a shine to it. Is there honey inside this? I hope so. Dude, that Probably, would be... Yeah. Amazing. I want to crack one open. Should I just be surprised or crack just be one surprised? Open? Just be surprised. I was gonna say crack it open. Mark says be surprised. Be surprised. Yeah. What if it's got coconut in it, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> then that will Mark be will be surprised. That will be a definite surprise. So we let Mark try it first, and then we'll know if yeah. it has coconut. <laughs> just kidding. All right. So the matchmaker. Wait. We got to say the entire thing. Nestle Quality Street Matchmaker Honeycomb. Hmm. Mm. Wow. Mm. What's in there? Chocolate. It's, it's not a pretzel. Is it just all mm. chocolate? It tastes like a like a crunch bar. What? Crunch. It tastes like. It doesn't taste like a chocolate crunch bar covered to me. salt. <laughs> well, man, it has that texture like crunch bar. It does crunch. Mm. I'll give you that. But there is something inside of it somewhere. Yeah. Is it honey? Like freeze dried honey? I like the texture, whatever it is. See that shiny? It's like toffee on the inside of it or something. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Hmm. Good though. Yeah. Hmm. Definitely different. I don't know if anything in the U.S. is like this. No, we don't. We don't have anything comparable. No. Definitely not. Spoiler alert. Uh, we have another flavor of the Nestle Quality Street Matchmakers uh, at the end of this video, and I'm going to rank this one with that one in mind because I. Oh, you are. A... This uh -huh. to me is lovely. Mm -hmm. This to me is a lovely oh. level seven. Level seven. <laughs> <laughs> I love so. Put in a little bit for that one. It's a great star. No, I mean, to Josh's point, we don't have anything like this here. No. With the exception of one thing, but I'm not going to spoil it. So, overall, the rate. Overall. 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 <laughs> overall, the ranking for the. Nestle Quality the Street tree, Matchmaker Honeycomb, honeycomb mm -hmm. which is a mouthful in and of itself, mm -hmm. we give an average rating of lovely. <clears throat> so next up we have Har Harbro. Harbro. <laughs> Harbro. Harbro. Harbro to eggs. Harbro. <laughs> Harbro. Harbro. Where's that other R? What are you saying? What are you saying? I have I'm not saying all. Okay, so I want you to think of the thing that goes in, in, in someone's hair that has long hair like you used to have. That is a hair bow. Hair bow. It's the exact same thing except you add an eye in there. Hair bow. Hair bow. There you go. Proud of you. Good job. 
Carry on. Are you done? <laughs> <laughs> we got Haribo Authentic. I'm not have fun with that one. Yeah. Soft licorice. Yep, so uh, on our trip through our local dealer, um, I made mention of the Pontefract Cakes. Never heard that word a day in my life. And Cakes. we were informed that Pontefract is, I guess, a town or a city uh, somewhere in that part of the world. And this is where they originate from. One of the heavy, no, I'm only one if they have any artifacts in Pontefract. <laughs> I already know. I have okay. I, I'm I'm not going in. There's no there's no secret that we've not been kind to black licorice. I'm, I'm not, not even gonna smell it. it. Not gonna smell it. But I do have to say the black licorice items that we have tried have been in textures that I do not care for. The really hard black licorice thing that we had to pull oh, apart for yeah. 17 hours. Beat it to death with a yeah. hammer. The Bon, was it a bon bon? Bon bon, I not, not great. This is a texture I can get down with. So, the Harab, Hard Bro, Whoa. <laughs> all, no authentic contract cake, <laughs> soft licorice. Down the hatches. <laughs> I'm ashamed of my mind. Yeah. I feel like I'm eating a tire. I don't even really taste black licorice. Mm -mm. I don't taste anything. Hmm. Pontefract cakes are over 250 years old. It tastes like it. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, that was rude. <laughs> it's like horse food or something, man. It's not. <laughs> I wouldn't even give that to a horse. <laughs> I hate my horse. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't either. Uh, it's got, not, it doesn't taste like licorice though. No, it doesn't. I'm eating another one, so it's not like I hate it. If if there was a very, and I can't believe this is coming out of my mouth, if there was a very strong black licorice flavor, this would be better for me. I found this on the web. Oh, did you? Nobody's talking to you, Siri. But she did find black licorice Loran Holes. Not a sponsor. Hmm, not a sponsor. There's, there's not a lot of it flavor. Kind of tastes like a raisin, like a like a, like a vague taste. It tastes like rubber. Yeah. Goodyear, Sumatumo, Falcon. What did you say about a sumo? <laughs> um, I will go not my cup of tea though. I'm right there with you, Mark. Not my cup of tea. It's not bloody disgusting, because <laughs> contrary to the uh, Christmas pudding. Uh, oh, this yeah. doesn't make me want to dry heat. Yeah. Um, I'm not there with you. It's not, it's a mid, not my cup of tea. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, I did go in with decent hopes. Unfortunately, there was not a strong enough mm. black licorice flavor profile for me to give that anything higher than the average score that we all rated it. Not, not my, my cup, cup of, of tea. tea. All right, next up we have the Terry's Chocolate Orange. Why I'm introducing this, I don't like orange and chocolate. So we have had the Terry's Chocolate Orange. We have had the Terry's Chocolate Orange that you beat on the table and it cracks in the slices. Thank you, Mr. H and friends. Um, however, this is a bar form. I didn't know that existed until our most recent trip to the local dealer. Uh, Mark has never had never a had Terry's it. chocolate orange in orange or bar flavor form. Bar flavor form. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh, uh, let me retract that. I don't exactly hate it. It's just not my favorite. Is it the what is it about? It's just like orange and chocolate. It's like two flavors that I just don't think should be together. To me. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, some people I've uh, I've got like a now whatever. I've got people that say it's good, and I've got people that say it's not good. I'm one of those not good ones. Now, I do have to say, having had a Terry's chocolate orange and the experience of knocking the, the orange on the table and watching it kind of fall into slices. It's way better. That That's a part of the experience, I feel. Hmm. That didn't look nearly as fun. No. <laughs> and it also didn't break off into even mm -hmm. orange, orange slices. slices. Or slices. 
However, Terry's chocolate orange bar. Down the hatches. Dude, you're crazy. No, that's, that's, that's really good. This does nothing for me. It's right there next to the uh, hockey puck. Oh, yeah. oh you're, <laughs> you're there's no up. way. This is delightful. That's not a rating, Mark. Oh, it's delightful. Maybe it should be. Yeah. Bloody well. delightful. <laughs> I was quoting the famous David Newland. Mm. Mm. Man. Man. Is right. Man. Trash. I'm going to love it on that one. <clears throat> I've seen somebody else has second thoughts on that one. It is, it is a... Uh, it is a not my cup of tea nine. How about that? Nine? Yeah, where well, that was like a five. <laughs> nine! <laughs> what a rabbit trail we'd start going <laughs> now if we did that. Um, the taste. I don't, I don't think it tastes any different than the Terry's chocolate orange. Occupied. I do think the flavor profile for me is all my days. But... Comparing it to the actual Terry's chocolate orange and the experience of a Terry's chocolate orange, I can't give it all my days because it's not the same thing. Therefore, I am going to give it a lovely. Which means the Terry's chocolate orange, although not by unanimous decision, falls somewhere in the middle of both of our rankings at a UK OK. All right, so on the last kind of sort of back where we started, we have Nestle Quality Street Matchmakers, but it is the cool mint flavor. Hmm. I did kind of allude to it before. The one thing that I think we have that is comparable to this in probably both taste and texture, when you go to, is it a, like a fancy Olive restaurant? Garden. Yep. Uh, well, yeah, yeah there's just like a straw. And it's a, it's like an Andy's mint, yeah. but it's in a different form. Yeah. That's what I anticipate these. Peppermint patty. And I, for one, love, you want to talk about combos? The combo of chocolate and mint. Whoever did that first was a genius. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is going to be If beautiful. I could rate it off the smell alone, it would be all my oh my days. That that is amazing. What's the ice cream that's in mint ice cream? Is it, what's it called? Is there like a mint chocolate chip ice cream? Is that what it is? Like, what do you get from Cold Stone? Yeah, mint chocolate chip. It's just this is. It doesn't smell cold. <laughs> <laughs> How do you smell cold? Oh, you can smell cold. <laughs> Believe me, if this was refrigerated, I'd be able to tell you. Maybe that's just because I'd have to get close enough to it with my nose that I could feel the. <laughs> Coolness. <laughs> Either way. You can smell the rain. Though. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe I'm just crazy. That is a much different Woo! peppermint smell that is a than strong, what we yeah. have here. Strong peppermint. I'd be oh, willing yeah. to say this is more like peppermint. Like, Oil. Uh -huh. Yorkshire. <laughs> yeah, not like... Yorkshire. <laughs> Yorkshire. <laughs> peppermint Yorkshire? <sighs> this is like, a, like essential oil. Yeah, they soaked it. They this, dumped it. I, this is... Like an Oreo. Okay. Let me just stop talking and let's try it. This is the Nestle, Nestle, Nestle. Quality... Nestle. I got, for those of you that don't know, we've established that my mom had instilled in me my entire life the wrong way to pronounce the word Nestle. I was brought up with it being called Nestle. And just the one episode that we did on here and I called it Real. Nestle. <laughs> this is by Nestle. <laughs> yeah, Nestle. Which is also... Over here. Yeah. It's not Nestle. It's, it's Nestle. Nestle. Uh oh. <laughs> Nestle. Uh -oh. I'm going to Nestle <laughs> up close to that. Uh. Is that how you thought it was pronounced the whole time? Yeah. Nestle. <laughs> I got grilled, so you'll have to excuse me, but this is the Nestle Quality Street Matchmakers Cool Mint. Dude, you don't even have to like. Mm bite it and it's the peppermint's yeah. already hit you yeah there's like a peppermint stick in this listen very closely 
may be one of the highest oh my days I've ever given on this show. Wow. I knew it was going to be high. This is, I, I could already tell from the texture of the honeycomb mm -hmm. and what I anticipated the mint being, but this exceeded my expectations. Is that the microphone on top of that thing up there? It is. All right, just hold up. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear that. Oh, <laughs> trust me. Yeah, the only thing that I could compare it to is an Andy's Mint, mm. but even then, it's way stronger. This is way stronger. This is better. I'm telling you, it's like if they put a candy cane inside that tucker. It is more candy cane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But stronger than a candy. Cane. Somehow. I, I don't know how, but the strength is incredible. Yeah. They squeezed the mess out of that mint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that mint had nothing left to give. Yeah. No. <laughs> it tapped out a lot. Uh, Easiest all my days I've ever given. <coughs> and I will die on that hill. I'm going to have to go all my days on that one. Uh, not a big, huge fan of mint in chocolate either it's not it's not terrible so uh i'm gonna give that one huh i'm gonna i'm gonna give it a uk okay oh you suck on you're fired <laughs> give me corn and chocolate the all day long the next <laughs> yeah <laughs> Now accepting applications, mm -hmm. if you'd yeah. like to be a part of the Blanks crew, just email us it was at nice blanks you guys. <laughs> at gmail.com. I'll be seeing myself out now. <laughs> well, ma'am, mm, man, that's unfortunate. Um, so what I will say, the overall average rating uh, for the Nestle Quality Street Matchmakers Cool Mint Unfortunately, is lovely. lovely. However, there's no doubt in my mind, Taylor. Wish he was here. Taylor would have rated that in all my days. I'm ready to found find out. Then I would have overrode you. I'm going to Greensboro tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we will find out. Oh, boy. And that concludes our taste test for today's episode. So this has been blank, someone asked. <laughs> And certainly no one asked for this. But wait, there's more. Still got that itch for more blanks no one asked for? Click that bottom left video down there to see the content that YouTube thinks would be the best for you.